Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 here to do the collective's weekly reading for this week, April 27th, 2020 through May 3rd, 2020. If you're new to my channel, welcome and super blessings, infinite abundance to all of you and the same goes to all of my returning subscribers, viewers, watchers, and anybody who's been with us. Let's just say, yay, I actually was able to put the life coaching session number one about how to build a good relationship with God. It is posted. I hope you guys all check that out. I wish everybody infinite blessings and abundance. I appreciate any good like feedback, advice, just um, any messages and all that wonderful stuff. I hope everybody has had a great week. I wish everybody nothing but a bundle of love. And if you're new to my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're not new, please like, share, and subscribe. It just makes my whole day. And I really appreciate everybody who's been with me, who's staying with me, and who's helping me to grow and um, here for the journey. I appreciate that. Let's jump in to... Oh, before I start with the pre-messages, please remember to, um, if you want to contact me, please read the description box below, my emails below, all my card decks is below, and um, all the cards have been prayed upon so that you guys know. And I still do life coaching sessions. And as a life coach, I'm also a tarot card reader. So it's not the same delivery of messages, but they're both quality. And I've gotten some excellent feedback as a reader and life coach. So thank you guys all uh, from this avenue to other avenues that I work in. So um, yes, you can contact me below. And if you want to find some information about me, just read the description box. My email is there. So let's get into the pre-messages. You guys got the Two of Cups and the King of Wands together. That signifies for me that a lot of you are coming into contact with your Twin Flame. Your Twin Flame may have been in hiding. Your Twin Flame may have not been ready. They held back. They weren't ready for you. They are now ready. They have stepped up and raised their vibration to the energy that you deserve. So this is beautiful energy. Remember the Two of Cups is soulmate energy for me. That is, For me, it represents Twin Flame as well. It also represents um, karma, things being balanced, um, healing, lots of healing and unions, a lot of love coming together. Just remember, um, just appreciate love and trust in your relationships. This is the type of relationship that is going to be, I feel like, successful because the healing has been done. The work has been done. They're ready to start this journey and to do it right. Okay. And it's very beautiful. Somebody's ready to invest in you. And this is the kind of love people pray for. This is what you want in life. So just know that this person is very dependable. You'll be able to trust their words and believe what they say. Hearts and minds are going to match. You guys are going to mirror and be in sync with each other. Although you are you, they are them. There will also be a lot of synchronicities. This is how you'll know about your twin flame. Um, I see engagement and marriages. So congratulations for anybody and everybody that applies to. And I hope that applies to every single body out there. But this is love and this is equal love. And this is a very beneficial relationship. And you know, for as far as that two of cups goes. And as far as like the king of wands, this is your king. And remember when I talk about male and female kings and queens, we're talking about energy. So take it how it resonates for you. Um, just know energy. We, we all have masculine and feminine energy. So take it how it resonates and don't ever force it. If this is you, you will know it. You will feel it. You'll feel more creative. You will feel empowered or your twin is feeling this way or both of you. This is about being more practical. Um, taking a practical approach to things. Some of you are entrepreneurs or your twin flame is, and you're going to grow businesses together. You're going to make things happen or you, you both give great advice. It could be one or the other or vice versa. Your twin could be, um, I'm getting a lot of masculine energy, but very engaging companion, very much an inspirational leader. People listen to your twin. This is a person who could be a pastor, a teacher, um, a life coach, or somebody who inspires others through the things that they do. People listen to what they say. They're very very much a leader and they show their feelings. Okay, you will know what they're thinking. They will be able to show this. Um, just know it's important for you both to work with unconventional people. Travel could be on the horizon. Just do it safely. And um, just know, I feel like your professional contacts are about to grow. So you're about to get involved with a lot more people. And um, there's a lot of freedom here, a lot of passion here. Be very open, um, standing your power, standing your energy. And just know it's okay to explore those passions. This is a great time to do it. Okay. So new people, new places, stay self-motivated. 
um, and stay very open-minded. I mean, this is great. I love it. I love this energy and I love that those two cards came out together because it just signifies for me a union of twin flames. If your masculine was not ready, your masculine is ready and you will know it. You will feel it. They miss you. They want to be with you and they're not playing. So that's beautiful energy. And as you guys, if you don't know, I think some people may know I am a twin flame as well. So I definitely relate and uh, I'm feeling the energy. Okay. So let's start with you guys this reading. Let's start with, you guys know, I don't do as many decks for the weekly. So this is the weekly for April 27th for the collectives through May 3rd, 2020. The cards have already been meditated upon and prayed upon. Spirit, please come through as you always do. I very much appreciate that. Messages for the collectives. And you guys will get a theme. And you guys know I don't do reversals. This is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I also don't do um, signs as of yet, but I may in the, in the future. Let's start the reading. At the bottom of the deck is the most important message. You guys have the King of Pentacles. Whoa. So you guys got King energy. Let's just start there. This means people have leveled up. They've stepped up and they're not playing. They are coming for you. Offers are coming for you. That masculine is coming for you. Or it could be that feminine take it how it resonate. I see a lot of masculine energy is coming through. They want to help you improve your money. They want to build. I'm seeing a lot of trust here. Once again, trustworthy. They're dependable. Being a king of pentacles, this energy is about this person is not just a helper. They're not just going to help you. They're going to help their friends and people around them. Anybody who's willing to step up, they reach a hand back to help that other person. And I love that. They are much, they're very much a giver. Um, there's somebody, you, it's very loyal. I feel like they're very um, loyal to their relationships, to their job and to their friendships and to their career and education. And they, like I said, they're a giver and they're a king. So this is this is the energy of somebody in a high position, somebody you can be very proud of. This is somebody that you want to introduce to your family and to your friends. And this is somebody who's very committed for the long term and they want things to be successful and they're a giver, they're giving, they're sharing, they're caring. They they love and they're very serious with their offer. And I, I love that with the King of Pentacles. So that's, that's amazing. They're very devoted, and this is what you want. Let's get the theme. You guys have the Six of Cups. Yes, past life energy. Person coming back from the past. Expect phone calls, you guys. Know that somebody missed you, and they're going to tell you straight up. You will feel it, but you will know it when they say it. They've been reminiscing about you, thinking about you. There's a lot of memories there. Happy memories. You take them back to childhood, to a place from the past. If it is not directly from you know, elementary, middle, high school, childhood, neighborhood, if it's not that, this is definitely past life or both. I'm feeling that heavy. They want a victory with you. They want to celebrate with you. And this is success. They want this relationship to be a success. This is very much a love reading. This is where we're going with it. So this is a trustworthy read. This is a trustworthy person. And in this reading, I'm getting that you're, you're ready to trust somebody. This is the person you can trust. They love you and they always have. They may have not always said it. They stood in the background. They didn't always share their feelings or thoughts, but... You're going to enjoy reconnecting with this person. You make each other happy, straight up. And um, you're going to feel very much energized. I'm getting like a boost of energy, a boost of passion. There's going to be some romantic dates for sure. So um, expect entertainment and to be inspired for the future. Also, um, just know this, this could be an old flame. It could be an ex, uh, to be honest, is what I'm getting for some of you. And um, just know those old times, you know, they, they found it playful. They liked it. They enjoyed you. They find you beautiful or absolutely gorgeous and stunning and amazing. And they get a sense of peace. And they're going to give you more peace and security and comfort. This is beautiful energy, especially for you guys' um, theme. That's awesome. So this is going to be a love, a week full of love. This is going to be a love week, a very loving week. And romantic week is when I'm getting love and romance is here on the horizon. Monday, look at this judgment. Oh, they want your forgiveness. They lied. They held back. They mistreated you. They picked somebody over you. They left and ghosted you and did not talk for months or weeks or years. You haven't heard from them. They miss you terribly. And they want your forgiveness and they're going to ask for it. And I see a lot of gifts coming in. Major, major gestures are coming in. I feel like um, 
if this is you who who needs to offer the forgiveness or ask for it go ahead and and ask for it okay don't don't let pride get in the way and most importantly ask God for that forgiveness and move on being the best person that you could be but I do see a lot of unions coming together so I do see you being forgiving and loving and reflecting once you guys have reflection and self-reflection here the six of cups and now the judgment card it's up to you what you choose to do always you know listen to your intuition to God Jesus angels your spirit guides your family your friends your ancestors your entire spiritual family but I always say this God forgives who are we not to God is a is very much very forgiving and a God of many chances our God gives us many many chances so whether you give this person a chance or not again please forgive them not just for them but for you it, it goes both ways i think and that's how i feel it and just know a lot of you are very much connected to your angels please talk to them pray a lot more during this time you may even see them um spirit is around you and i feel like you're spiritually leveling up so um yeah this is very much past energy somebody is is definitely in deep contemplation about you from the past and they are serious hardcore serious about you so know that communication is coming in and it's going to come in very very fast this week for sure maybe even today for a lot of you Tuesday you guys have the ace of wands you guys know this is my favorite card in this deck I've always been very connected to this card for those of you who do know this is ace, ace of wands they want to see growth and success and this is going to happen within your business like I said a lot of you twin flames are coming together and you're going to build some amazing things together, some businesses together. And this is also the fertility card. So if you do not plan on expanding your family and you don't plan to be pregnant at this time, then please use caution and protection. If you are in a place where you definitely want to expand your family and have more children and you're expecting and you want to plan this out, go for it. This is the time you're going to be very fertile. So I see families expanding business is growing this is a major card for growth and success so things are going to be very very happy and prosperous so congratulations to anybody this applies to this is beautiful energy so some people are like i'm done with the nonsense let's take this relationship where it belongs that's ace of wands i love my ace so think about what you want to do create it write it speak it all of that manifest it hard okay and go for it and actually this is the time to push wednesday you guys have the death card. Da -na -na. This means you are transforming. You're changing. Whatever had to go, that ex or that past um, energy of negativity or any lesson that you had to learn or a living situation you had to move from, you have let it go. You washed your hands of it and you're changing for the better and you're embracing what's new. Okay? So you're going forward. So I'm seeing people going forward or like a reconnection or restart so you may have to move somewhere to restart or you may have to um change jobs you're restarting somewhere and and it could just be within something is different in you now because you've healed you've learned lessons you have looked at yourself looked at your life and you implemented what needed to be there so that you can grow and be more successful and you're taking everything that you learned with you and you're leaving any baggage behind so just go forward and embrace it and just let it soak in because it's going to make you stronger and you're following the light. You're following the right path is what I'm hearing. So that's amazing. Thursday, you guys have the Ten of Cups. You're following that beautiful light to happiness. This is the Ten of Cups, you guys. Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups. This is celebration. This is marriage. This is happy life, happy home, lots of money and abundance, families coming together people supporting you this is once again a 10 so 10s represent celebration but also they represent you have learned so many wonderful things now that you're at your best you're better than you've ever been and if you have not got there you're going to oh that just scared me um that's a sign that thing keeps falling it actually goes to my tv um <laughs> but anyways it's been so hot everything's just melting and I turned off the fan so that you guys can hear me clearly. But anyways, back to the Ten of Cups. This is amazing energy. This is what we all pray for. We hope for. This is what we want. This is beautiful. Feel blessed for the life that God is giving you and the blessings that are to come. 
Expect your family to be more loving and supportive and helpful. You're going to a wedding, it could be your own. Um, you will feel like you're building your home and you are building it. You will have that sense of security. There will be children. Okay, I'm seeing children heavy here in this in this reading. And just bonds deepening. Love is growing. It's overflowing in this entire reading. And it's amazingly beautiful energy. Any old disagreements or um, heartache, heartbreak, all of that, you, you've overcome it or you're going to. And you're going to do it really fast is what I'm seeing. Just come together in a spirit of togetherness safely. And just know that children are going to thrive and they're going to run free and bring families together. It's going to be really amazing to see. Um, stay creative. I feel prosperity is going to come in the place of your career and work. And just also your dream home and, and having kids with that right person and doing it right and pleasing God. And I love the Ten of Cups. I just see rainbows when I see this card. It's just so much happiness and socializing and celebrations. And I know right now this is a little bit difficult to maybe even imagine because of, you know, everything that's going on in the world, but just know it is coming and where you just have to do it in some different ways, but the plans are going to be in action is what I'm saying. Beautiful. I love it. Friday, you guys have the ace of pentacles. Good Lord. Two aces on the table. This is money is coming to you. Thank you, God. Times a billion because this is not just winning. This is abundance for me. This is the prosperity card. You guys have two aces with the ten of cups here. Oh my God. And the six of cups. And the king of pentacles. And beautiful energy. This is super amazing. This is off the charts. Beautiful. Just know that what you've prayed for, God answers prayers. He knows what you want and what you deserve. And just know it's coming in for you. This is coming in heavy. This is getting that, not just a home, dream home like the Ten of Cups. This is better than what you ever could have imagined. You're going to maximize your good fortune when you make intelligent decisions and invest your money. So when this money comes in and this boost of finances, this great bonus, new career opportunity, whatever it is, just know the gifts, the rewards, the money, the finances, um, your projects, they're going to prosper greatly. And just know it's it's best to be wise about it. So don't rush anything. You're going to be happy. You're going to be more than stable. And it's very successful. This is a new beginning for you. Okay? So expect some new property. Expect feeling secure. And it's going to come from your creativity. And um, God is blessing, you know, the, the hard work that you put in. Okay? This is a beautiful life. A beautiful life. I love it. And even in your relationships, you will have stability, okay? You're moving. I feel a lot of people are moving to a new home, a better home. Money is coming. It's going to help out in a major way. Thank God. Like I said, times a billion. Saturday, you guys have the nine of pentacles. Goodness gracious. Spend some of that money on you. Redecorate the house. This is about luxury appreciate everything that God has given you. I'm seeing so much about appreciation here on this table. Appreciate the love that's coming. Appreciate the money that's coming. And don't forget to splurge on yourself a little bit. Yes, you're going to balance and invest wisely and only take people who are going to help you to be more successful and encourage your growth. But also know that yes, there will come a time where you get to get your nails done again, your toes done again, get a body massage, get your hair done. And go ahead and redecorate the house and buy some new furniture because you're going to decorate this home. And it's okay to splurge on yourself and get your favorite ice cream from time to time or your favorite food from time to time. You need to take care of you too. And finances are going to be amazing. Devote some time and money to what you're interested in and where you live so that your home is comfortable and beautiful and inviting. Okay? Appreciate all the good things in life. I keep getting that very heavy because it's important to know that luxury is coming and you're going to be able to treat yourself, okay? Some of you are tending to a garden or you're writing a book, but either way, go ahead and redecorate, rearrange the house and get that new vase and just keep things very beautiful around you because your surroundings are just going to get more and more beautiful. Amazing. Sunday, you guys have the moon. Very interesting. Let's see how many major arcana. I see one, two. This is three major arcanas both two aces amazing the moon so something unknown is coming 
I feel like this is nothing but good, good news here. This is amazing news is how I feel. And it's coming in. So check that mailbox. Check the emails. Definitely answer the phone. Whether you know the caller or not, answer the phone. And definitely check your text messages and voicemail messages. Check everything. All forms of communication. Word of mouth. Somebody's looking for you. Somebody's trying to reach you. If it feels safe, follow that intuition and do it. Because I feel like usually when I see this card, whatever's done in the dark is coming to the light. Somebody wants to speak their truth. And there's something that you didn't know. It's going to come to light. And I feel like this is finding out about some money coming through. Somebody may even be getting like a... um. I'm hearing pension, but I'm also hearing like um, retirement or some type of like um, investment is going to go through and it's going to be very lucrative. But also, uh, I can't think of this word, but it's on the tip of my tongue. Just money coming in from all different avenues. Okay. So just um, trust and believe God got you and um, gifts are coming. Love is coming. The dream life is coming. I feel like this is this is what's what this week is about. Somebody is going to get beyond lucky. This is like lottery winning. This is like finding out that the house you wanted, everything went through, escrow is going to close and you have the keys. This is finding out that you can go buy this house off the lot. Maybe somebody left you some money or um, donated you some money because of some wonderful things that you did or something they appreciated about how you um, handle things or you know getting a promotion at work and this is like life changing. This is life-changing winnings here. And you're about to get the news of this. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Don't be too hard on yourself about any lessons that you've learned from the past. Just take your lessons and go forward with a new sense of like self. And just know wonderful things are on the horizon. I would like to get a love and light message for you guys. This is beautiful. I love this reading, you guys. Appreciate your blessings. You're, you're going to win. Straight up. Love and light message for the collectors. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm shaking my camera for today. For this weekly, April 27th through May 3rd, 2020. A message for the collectors, please. And this is the love and light deck. Beautiful. You guys have celebrate the beautiful gift of life. Somebody's going to find out they are expanding their family. They're pregnant. They're going to have a new baby. Congratulations are always in order. And this is from the Bible. Palms chapter 96, verse 11. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and everything in it shout his praise. Love the children, love your family, and feel blessed. Somebody wanted this baby. Somebody tried hard for this child, and they're going to have more. I feel like families are about to get big, but you definitely have one coming in. Um, it's amazing. I'm getting a lot of like masculine energy, so a lot of you could be having boys around this season. Interesting. Boys, girls, we're going to have it all. But I see a lot of masculine here, but just know God loves the kids. And God wants you to celebrate the beautiful gift of life. That's amazing. And at the bottom of the deck, that's the picture, you guys have face your future with boldness and strength. From Palms chapter 138, verse 3, it says, As soon as I pray, you answer me. You encourage me by giving me strength. God is guiding you. He's helping you. He's leading you to your confidence and your courage. Stand in that strength and know that your future is, is near and it's going to be amazing. And he wants you to be strong enough to handle the things that's coming to you because this is more money maybe than anybody has ever had in your family. This is a better house than anybody's had or this is a better job or you're at the highest of your education. You're taking your family to a whole new level. You've broken generational curses that nobody even tampered or looked into. So you have changed the game and God is blessing you to help others and yourself, but it's going to take some good decisions, okay? So he's asking you to be bold, be strong, be fierce, and just know your blessings are yours. And of course, you're here to help and share, but not by going broke and not by being belittled. So don't let anybody bring you down for the gifts and the blessings and abundance that God is sending to you. This is your prosperous moment. This is your time. Own it. Be very grateful to God for it. Show gratitude. Don't look down on others. But just know you need to be strong enough to handle this because you will have a lot of paperwork to sign. You will have to look over some things. Some of you will need a lawyer to double check and triple check things. Ask a lot of questions. Don't be afraid. That's what smart people do. And just be bold. God wants you to be very strong. He's answering prayers. So stay encouraged and know that you are on the list. We are all on the list. God got us. 
and he wants us to make the best decisions possible with what we have okay all right let's get a message from the angels answers please for this weekly april 27 2020 through may 3rd 2020 message for the collective let's see oh that came out right away look at this listen to your intuition i feel like some of you will be getting signs a lot of you and god will speaking through you and to you listen to your intuition about doing what feels right okay pay very close attention to your soul i'd pray and meditate very hard this week every day but certainly this week okay it's going to be important that you connect to your soul and at the bottom of the deck you guys have to let go let god and let go let go of what don't what doesn't serve you focus on god and focus on what you have going forward so whatever you had to lose if you had to lose a small tiny apartment or something that you really love god is going to give you something that you love so much more so if you thought you lost something you're about to be it's, it's about to be replaced by something so much greater and bigger you're about to win on a larger scale and this is amazing appreciate these blessings before they come so you can manifest them and show the proper gratitude towards god and um yourself and others so this is amazing reading i love the feel of this and i'm glad i, I did it when i felt like it because something told me just do it right now do it now do it right now you're feeling like the energy of it. i felt so good before i started this reading I feel even better. I'm, I'm more uplifted. I wish all of you nothing but happiness, joy, blessings, and infinite abundance. Enjoy this prosperity that's coming, this love that's coming, the marriage that's coming, the relationship that's coming, the spiritual blessings that's coming, the physical blessings that's coming, everything that's coming. Appreciate it all. This is the dream life. And I wish it for everybody, especially those who deserve it. Just know God got you. He got us all. This have been your readings collectives infinite abundance, joy, love. Bye y'all.